Hello and welcome back to my tutorials. We'll see how helpful these are. I hope they are. Um, this one is going to be helping you guys with, well, it can be for any much any pro design program. A lot of you guys saved your files on Google Drive and are now trying to download them. So the only way we can do that is by going back to Google Drive. So let's go over to Google Drive. I already have a folder pulled up. Um, obviously, wherever you put the file, you need to find it. Um, I'm just pulling up this folder because it has Illustrator files in it, has PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs, whatever else. So um, let's say this is your Illustrator file, or if you're in my advanced class and it's a Photoshop file, whatever file it is, click on the file that it is, go over to here, download, or you can always right click on it and say download. There's a lot of ways you can download. You just need to make sure you download it, okay? Once it's downloaded, um, I would recommend we can go to our desktop and put this on the desktop, wherever you want it. I'm just putting it on my desktop because it's easier. Um, okay, so here's what's weird. It didn't do it to me, but a lot of times when you download stuff from Google Drive, I don't know why, but it's going to rename it. So a lot of times this will say, bring an official logo dot ai dot ps if it says that that's not really a problem just make sure you actually go in and fix it okay so what you need to do is um, literally just delete the dot ps um, and even if you don't want to do that don't stress because i think even with the dot ps i think it will still open in illustrator if you right click on it. A lot of these things, they don't open directly. Like, I don't know why, the defaults are not always set to download and install and open in whatever program you have. I have no idea why. But if you right click on it, you can always say open with, see mine's default going to Illustrator. But sometimes the default is preview, which is super irritating because if you default, which is how most of your photos are. When you download a photo from the internet, it usually um, by default needs to open into preview. I don't know why, that's what Apple did, but long story short, don't press on um, open, go to open open with, and you can choose. So I'm gonna do Illustrator. <clears throat> if you guys can't find the program on your computer, uh, it should be, I don't know, I, I like to put stuff on my dock. You can always go up to the little search icon and, and the last thing I was searching for was QuickTime Player. Um, but you can also go to Finder, Applications, and then it's in here. And you can go to you know, Illustrator or whatever else and open it through there. I'm sure most of you by now know how to open the program. But yeah, so once you're in, you should just be able to you know, zoom around, use the program. Um, if this is the case, that's all you have to do. You don't need to re-upload it to Drive or anything because by the time this project's due, we will still be stuck in our homes. So <laughs> I know you won't be on our campus ready to turn this stuff in other than through the internet. So don't even worry about ever uploading it to bring, you know, to your Google Drive unless you literally want to save it there in the future. Um, but yeah, so save, keep saving on your computer. I usually, you know, um, I'll usually save it. So if I do, you know, if I do file save as or command shift s, which is what I just did, I can change where I save it and you always I usually always save it to the desktop but yeah so let's say I'm done with this for today you know I set my timer worked on it for 30 minutes or somewhere around then I can now do command shift 4 and I now have my screenshot and so I can go ahead click drag over screenshot and it's gone and so we'll where does your screenshot show up? On the desktop. So here's my screenshot. And so let's say this is what I'd worked on today. I will go to Classroom and I'll just upload that screenshot. Um, and I think by now you guys all know how to upload to Classroom. Just make sure I will put a, a project for the whole week. So you're gonna upload, by the end of the week, 
you will have five things uploaded, okay? So it's gonna be 30 minutes from day one, 30 minutes day two, 30 minutes day three, you know, whatever else. So just keep in mind, um, each day, you're gonna be putting in uh, a little bit of time. Just make sure you screenshot it and upload the screenshot. So I should have five screenshots by the end of the week.